So I'm just going to jump right into it and I'll start with you, Tony. So Abe goes on a wild journey this season, especially when it comes to his grandkids. I won't go into too many specifics, but I thought that was one of my favorite storylines of the show. Uh, Did you have a specific arc or storyline that you really enjoyed filming over the last uh, few seasons for Abe? I've enjoyed the whole arc, for, uh, uh, Abe's arc, from beginning to end, because every season sees him going through some kind of large transition. Um, and and for me, you know, just as an actor, just seeing where he started in the pilot and where he ends up at the end of five, it's a very, it's a long, circuitous, crazy journey, um, a journey of discovery, self-discovery and and so revelations and and uh, ultimately having to um, you know making peace with embracing these 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 changes in his life. I love that. I love that the challenge of that as an actor. And then Marin, I mean, getting a glimpse into Rose's life, and especially not just um, what we see we see in the in the current timeline, but you know, looking at her life in Down full. The- yeah yes yeah was there a specific um what was your reaction to reading those scenes and getting to film those moments without getting into too many details Yeah, right so i'll be careful to not say too much but it won't we won't air this prior to like the audience leading into mm-hmm. it right i i was really really touched by uh the notion of of caretaking that Midge has for her mom. I mean, they had a complicated, to say the least, relationship, right? And she was always asking for her mother's approval and just kind of respect. And and then at the end, she's basically kind of distorting the truth and letting her mom believe that she's got a very successful business. Mm-hmm. And that's it's kind of amazing. And, and just was dropped in. Like, there's like one line about it, right? The way Amy and Dan do that, where you kind of have to stop, rewind, and be like, what just happened? What did she just say? She's, <laughs> she's going to die. She's not well. She's going away. And yet the business we thought was so successful and it wasn't. So I, I was really taken by that. And of course, Amy and Dan were running through into the next episodes and I wanted to stop them. In fact, we, we're going to be all together in the next week and I'm going to say, hey, talk to me more about Rose's life. <laughs> Tell me what all what else happened. But I was I was really I'm I'm deeply intrigued by this woman I got to play. And she still feels like this other person that I want to know more of. So it's that's one of the reasons it's hard to say goodbye. It's I just there's so much that still surprises me about her. Yeah, I mean I feel like there's so many layers to Rose that we we keep getting revealed about and there's still so much to dig into so I, I really I agree with you on that point um you guys have had a great run this with this series I think it's just uh it's one of the best shows on television right now in my opinion I think the writing is fantastic the acting is fantastic with it being over is there a specific aspect of the show that you guys are gonna miss and uh Tony I'll start with you on that one. Oh, I'm gonna miss it all um the writing was just sublime, you know, week in and week out, uh, working with this ensemble, working with this crew, um, working, for me, I think, more than anything, is is it being in a story in this time period. Um, I, I just, I love this time period to work in without cell phones and computers and, um, it it's it it I, it's inter- it interests me. It it it's it's fun to look at. It it's I, I love the I love the sort of the the, the design elements of the clothes, the the props, the furniture, all of that. Being in transported into that universe, that's uh, that's that's the part I think I'm going to miss the most. Yeah, you know. Um... I've, I've any show I work on or any play I get to do any kind of anything to do with being an artist and actor is, is has its own unique great aspects. I think that what like with thinking about your great question is this one um, there's a little bit of awe in the room at all moments. Truly, oh. 
Yeah, he sends off. Oh. It, it, we would have read-throughs in which it would be like still afterwards, and you'd be, or maybe everybody would be uproariously like applauding, but it, 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 nothing was done like in a like small and casual flip flippant way the, the attention must be paid like they treated caroline was telling me that dan had said um paladino had said something about it being like comedy is thought sometimes to be um, not beautiful or something and instead they wanted to make sure like in other words when you shoot it like just have the faces and let's show everybody is funny funny but like they wanted it to be filmic like a scorsese film and that's how we were treating it on set like we're gonna get yeah there wasn't there something. wasn't a moment of of you know, cynicism yeah. or of, of anyone like, feeling jaded, clock, like, like yeah. it's just a job. It was never no. just Not a job. Not for anyone. The, Not for anyone. For, for some jobs, yeah, it, it really can frankly, be. it just is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like get through it. It's a job. Yeah. It's a you know. Yeah. Let's do our work. We'll yeah. you know we'll, we'll we're, we're in hundred percent, but it's a job. Yeah. This was never like that. Yeah. This was special. Every every day, time. It was special. every day, yeah. And you'd get the scripts, and there wouldn't be that much that would change. No. It was, like, so right. Well-crafted. So yeah. well-crafted. And in the read-through, it was that good. Remember we were told this sometimes? People who would come to the read-throughs would be like, that was a performance that just happened. <laughs> going to, like, see a Broadway show or what have you. Um, and so that's... I'll miss that. Sorry. I'll miss that. It's really... It, it was, like... And I don't mean larger than life, like you know, woohoo, like, you know, in a big old Broadway, it just was better than life usually <laughs> sometimes. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely feels that way when I'm watching it. There's definitely this sort of filmic quality that I don't feel like I get a lot with television. That's right. Um, so it's so interesting to hear you guys say that and sort of confirm my, my mm. thoughts. But um, yeah, I just want to Thank you guys so much to, for speaking with me on this because I I really enjoyed this final season and I can't wait for everybody to watch it. It's just a, it's a it's a great it's a great way to end the show. 